getting set to give the NFL season yet another whirl. Why not? Uh, he's a terrific young receiver up there in Seattle, Washington. He is Jackson Smith and Jigba of the Seattle Seahawks here on the Rich Eisen Show. How you doing, sir? Doing great. It's a great day out here in Seattle. How you doing? What makes it so great, Jackson? The sun's shining. Weather looking good. Good, nice little breeze. Okay. Going to get a good little practice in here in a, here in a little bit. So right. everything's good out here. You want to do the traffic too? You're doing the weather. Should we do the traffic and weather together here uh, no, on the Rich Eisen Show? I haven't got to that. No, I haven't got to that one yet. Okay. Yeah. The- Tyler, Lock- Tyler Lockett can do the traffic for you. Okay. Well, I mean, you haven't been around Seattle enough uh, yet. Uh, Seattle folks love to tell you about the traffic because they don't want to, they don't want you moving into the area. They want to keep it for themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, I mean, a lot of people out here, I, I figured it out. I mean, they just they say a lot of bad things about it just so it doesn't get, I guess, more populated or something. They say the weather's bad. That's right. They say there's traffic everywhere, but oh, so it's, you, it's all lies, so honestly. You get it. I, so you get it. You get it. Yeah. yeah. They're like, they, they don't want too many people moving there, so they talk about it in a way that makes you think they don't really like the area. And then when you, when, exactly. when, when you, when it's up for them to actually talk about their – city pride well then now it's on and certainly the seahawks are at the forefront of that so you've seen this 1000 percent. i love it. 1000 percent. i know i know how it goes now yeah the 12th man don't don't want any more uh, men and women in their city but so let's let's <laughs> let's talk about how things are different between last year and now this year with your new head coach jackson smith and jigbo what, what's your what's your opinion on that I mean, things are things are totally different, you know. Just having the great Pete Carroll, you know, everything, and, and to now Mike McDonald. I mean, everything is different. Um, you know, um, both defensive minded coaches, but you know, Coach Mike McDonald's been um, defensive coordinator for about some years now, and uh, um, really runs that you know side of the ball. And then also having uh, Coach Ryan Grubb. Um, joining us, um, just you know, you've seen the Washington offense just spreading it, up, spreading it around. Um, you know, a lot of deep shots, and you know, just just really playing offense on offense. You know. So, how I guess what will you allow or reveal that's different offensively? I would say, um, I would say, you know, you know, our main thing is you know three wide receivers, uh, three wide receivers out there. And, um, you know, just having answers for all coverages, honestly, is what I think, you know, you know, our mindset is um, just going down, uh, beating man to man, you know, uh, zone coverage, you know, sending a hole. Um, nothing crazy, you know, uh, just, you know, keeping football real simple and just, you know, having us, you know, do what we do. And how about you now coming into this season? How are you different than than last? Oh, I mean, uh, you know, how to. I feel like I had a, you know, good off season, you know, coming in bigger, faster, stronger, you know, was my main uh, focus point. And then, you know, just having a new OC, you know, I feel like, um, you know, everybody's like just starting, you know, the same is on the same page and, you know, we can just grow together, you know, efficiently, you know, just about, you know, what we're getting taught and going out there on the field. So, you know, I feel caught up. I feel, you know, like I'm right next to everybody and, you know, have the chance and opportunity to make plays. Do you have, do you feel the game slower for you a little bit right now? Oh yeah, for sure. most definitely, you know, first year, rookie year, getting thrown out there, you know, there's a lot, you know, you're thinking about, but now, you know, late and later on the season, I felt, you know, very much more comfortable um, just slowing the game down and, you know, understanding coverages and understanding my role um, and, uh, you know, coming into this year, you know, just to be able to have that, and have T-Lock and DK, you know, and, you know, my personal experience out there from last year has been great. So what, what, uh, so what, what does, as you mentioned, DK and, and Lockett, how did they assist you in getting you up to speed and now having things slow down for you? And so now you can really turn it on in this year. I mean, for, for me, I mean, I'm always, I'm a very much a visual learner, so you know, I can, you know, just hearing them and how they speak and, you know, the questions that they ask, you know, I'm able to, you know, put it in my memory bank and go out there and, you know, really just first watch them and then, you know, do it myself. 
and then you know just being there being um uh, you know a big bro you know to me and you know answering questions any questions that i need uh tyler tyler lock has been great for me um you know obviously you know the career that he's had and uh, a great one and you know anytime you know anytime he talks you know i'm all ears you know same with dk got jackson smith and jigba of the seattle seahawks here on the rich eyes and show he got your schedule to throw up here and there's so many different ways i can go in this direction um by asking you questions but i'm i'm gonna go week 12 through 14 there and the reason why i'm doing that jackson smith and jigba is you see marvin harrison jr week 12 garrett wilson week 13 and then marvin again week 14 kind of like a little reunion tour for you right there yeah nice little it'll be it would be good to share the share the field with those guys, you know. Again, um, definitely looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to you know beating those guys as well, though. So, what was it like playing with everybody back in the day, like that in college? It was great. I mean, it, it was it was a dream. Just you know, I just remember some games, you know, lining up um, in a huddle, and you just see, you just feel every feel everybody's energy, and you know, you can just you know, see in their eyes that, you know, they're, they're ready to make a play, you know, and just to be around that, you know, type of people, competitive people, great people, um, you know, every day I practice, but, you know, just on the field, it was just, you know, looking around, you know, you had to be on your A game because, you know, the guys next to you were, and, you know, Chris Olave, Gary Wilson, Marvin Harrison Jr., um, you know, there's Ameka Buka, you know, it was amazing just to, to feel their presence and, you know, just to know that they're on your team and, you know, we really can't be stopped. Honestly, we shouldn't be stopped. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was it's it's a feeling I won't forget for sure. Well, in terms of fun, uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, I'm, you look at the the schedule there, week 12 through 14 there. Um, that, that date, Sunday, November 24th, that kicks it off is the day after – Michigan plays Ohio State. So how how what do you think your mood is going to be when you see those guys? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think your mood is going to be when that day hits? You know, rivalry week, rivalry week. We don't we don't take that you know very lightly. So mm. I'm pumped all week, honestly. No, you know, I'm just I know saying that it, are... when you see them, it'll be the day after the game is played. So you think uh-huh. you'll be happy, or you think you'll be? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, I'll be. I'll be very happy. I'll be, you know, why? You know, my my stress will will have went down a little bit, you know, from after Saturday mm-hmm. because, you know, this is the year. Of course, what's this is the, the year? What's the year? The, the year track. for the year for what, Jackson? Don't, worry, don't do that to me. <laughs> this is the year we get back on track. <laughs> man, team up north, boys, man. You guys are something else. Well, we have been. Um, you know, last three years, what's the words for it, in a row. Um, so mm-hmm. um, does your head coach, your current head coach, has he mentioned any uh, of this to you at any point in time in the last few months at all? Yeah, there, there's been a few conversations. I mean, he has a, he has the upper hand, so there, there's not much I can say <laughs> rather than, you know, it was it was a fluke in my opinion. <laughs> fluke? In three years in a row. It's three in a row. How is that a fluke? <laughs> Come on. No? Yeah. We just got to go to the drawing boards. You see what we have, you know. We got a Mecca. We got Jeremiah Smith back there, Carnell mm-hmm. Tate. You know, we supposed to get the job done in defense, you know. Defense is coming on this year. Defense is ready this year. Now, but it, let, 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 me, let me go in this direction here um, before I let you go. Uh, C.J. Stroud had a remarkable year last year. I mean, that goes without saying. Like, unicorn stuff where I, I kind of think he's – he might have even messed it up for future rookie quarterbacks because I don't know how anybody's going to touch uh, what he did last year. What was that from your perspective while you were going through your year last year to see what he was doing, Jackson? Honestly, you know, I was just just happy for him. Um, just, you know, just I know he's an elite quarterback and, you know, what he can do. But when you go out there and show it, I mean – you know, we, we usually, you know, playing on Sundays and, you know, just hearing about it and hearing what he, you know, has done that week and for him to get to the playoffs. I mean, you know, he's destined for greatness. So, you know, um, you know, I'm just super happy for him. Um, hopefully, you know, we can match up, you know, one of these years. But, um, 
yeah, I mean, they got a they got a squad over there, and um, you know, he's doing what he's supposed to do. You know what he said he was going to do. So you know, I'm a believer. Yeah, I I know. I'm sure Garrett Wilson would say he prefers to be matching up with you instead of him. Um, you know, in a Super Bowl one day, but. You never know, man. And and obviously, there's a lot of folks in your area that are very high on what you guys can do with a new coach there. Even though Pete had one way of doing things, it was highly successful. Um, what What's your message that you would say to the 12s in advance of this season, Jackson, Smith, and Jigbo? What's your message to them? My message to them is, you know, in the locker room, you know, the buzz around the facility is, you know, we're excited to get it going. We're excited, you know, to jump into this new era, new era. And, um, you know, I feel like, you know, the word around, you know, the locker room is, you know, we're excited. We're ready. We're ready to go, you know, put our uh, first foot forward and, um, you know, start this thing off the right way. You know, we're we're behind Coach uh, McDonald and, you know, all of our coaches, we're excited. We feel like we have everything we need to get the job done and to uh, reach the goals that we're going for. So, you know, we're going we gonna to turn the 12s up for sure this year. Well, I, again, I appreciate always when you come on this program, not only because um, I'm so keenly interested in seeing what's going on in your career, but you also know what's coming for me. Um, and, you know, and I, I, I appreciate you still saying yes when I say please come on the program. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate you, Rich. I, Always. Right back at you. Jackson Smith and Jigba getting set to dominate for the Seattle Seahawks right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.